Hey, if you're here to learn how to make an orange dreamsicle protein shake that's extra yummy, you've come to the right place. But first, I want to talk to you about a couple things about protein that you may or may not know. Uh, both of these things are not protein, but are in the protein powder. Um, a lot of you that may be trying to lose weight or tr may be trying to cut your carbs or go extreme and go keto and try to almost totally eliminate carbs, but there's carbs in the protein powder. Now it's not much carbs, but it's there. If you're using a macro tracking app and scanning the barcode on your protein, I'm sure you know this already, but just want to make sure you know protein powder is not just protein. The second thing is something that you won't necessarily see on the, the macro portion of the, the label on the protein powder, but it's down here a little further down and that's creatine. Now, a lot of people take creatine, it's well researched, uh, it, it works. I'm not here to tell you what it does, but I just wanted to let you know that the creatine is in the protein powder. <clears throat> so you may not need to be supplementing creatine extra on top of that, you know, just straight creatine monohydrate or whatever. Um, also, pre-workouts have creatine in it most of the time. So a pre-workout will have that. And if you're doing both of these, you're probably getting enough and you don't need to supplement, you know, straight creatine, you know, into your supplements. Um, you're also going to get creatine through meat. So if you're eating a healthy diet and getting some, some good lean meats, uh, you're going to get some creatine that way. You don't want to get too much creatine because your body can only use so much creatine and anything extra, it's just going to get filtered out by your kidneys. And getting too much creatine can, uh, could damage your kidneys and you don't want to do that. So <clears throat> in my opinion, if you're drinking a protein shake every day and it's got creatine in it, you're probably getting enough. So now for number three, which is the orange dreamsicle protein shake. So the first thing you're gonna need to do is get some uh, vanilla protein. And the reason I do this is because uh, a lot of the, the cheaper proteins you'll get at Walmart, this particular thing I think came from Sam's, is they don't come in a whole lot of variety of flavors. You'll get chocolate, peanut butter, vanilla, that's about it. So to spice it up a bit, yeah, that's all it takes. A little bit of Kool-Aid. Uh, you may think Kool-Aid, there's a lot of sugar in that. No, not necessarily. This, you add like a cup of sugar is what it tells you to put in here. So there's no sugar, there's no carbs, no fat, no protein. It's just, uh, it is artificial flavoring. So if you got any, you know, opposition to artificial flavoring, you may not want to do it. But it doesn't take much, just a couple sprinkles of this. You can also use gelatin, sugar-free gelatin. It's fine for you to eat. And actually the gelatin is actually fairly healthy for you. And you can get <clears throat> all different flavors. But for the orange dreamsicle, just sprinkle a little bit of the of this in here when you right before you shake it up. And there you go. It's great. So you got your vanilla in here. Take your orange. Probably about a quarter to a third of a pack is really all you need water yep it's good 